Hey what's up guys welcome back. In this video we are going to see how to implement stack data structure using python. Before we start I just wanted to let you know that I have a 3 in 1 python course on Udemy uh, which has 3 sections in it. In the first section we will solve many different kinds of pattern programs and in the second section we will solve uh, different kinds of example programs that is most frequently asked interview questions on list, dictionaries etc. And in the third section we will implement some of the data structures and algorithms using python if you wish to enroll in this course i will give the link in the description as well as in the comment section and please note that the price will vary from time to time and from country to country all right so with that being said let's start off with today's video so we are going to implement stack data structure using python so stack is a user defined data structure which works on a, a lifo principle lifo is last in first out meaning for example, let us take an example. So let us consider this as a stack. So if I want to add a number, if I want to push a number, then that number will come and sit here. And if I want to push another number, so this is push. Okay, now I have pushed three. If I want to push another number, it will come and sit on top of three. I have pushed 4. Now if I want to push another number, it will come and sit on top of 4. Okay, that is 5. Now if I want to push another, it will come and sit to on top of 6. Now if I want to pop a number, the first number which is going to come out is 6. So pop. If I want to pop, the first number which is going to come out is 6. So 6 will come out. And after this, if I want to pop, the second number which is going to come out is 5. So basically that is last in first out. 6 was last, it, it has been come out as first item. So that's basically last in first out. Now if I want to pop, now 4 will come out of the stack. Now if I want to pop again, 3 will come out of the stack. Now stack is empty. And we are going to use Python's list as a stack. So we will consider the left side as bottom and right side as top, okay? So here I am in Jupyter Notebook. We are going to use Python's class and it is going to have is empty method, push item method, pop item method, peak item method and length or size method and display method. All right, so let us start. So first things first, I am going to initialize a class called stack and this class is going to have a init method so this init method is basically a constructor method in python and first method uh, first parameter is self so by default and now i will initialize self dot my stack equals empty list and after this we will implement is empty method so def is empty so it is not going to take any other parameter apart from self. It will just return true or false whether uh, based on whether the stack is empty or not. So if the stack is empty, it is going to return true. If the stack is not empty, it is going to return false. So, so self.myStack is equal to empty. If this condition is true, then it will return true. If this condition is false, it will return false. So what I mean by that is I will uh, initialize a list called a and uh, it is going to have three items in it if i call a is equal to empty then it is going to return false and if i do not equals empty then it will be true okay so this is what it is going to happen here when it has elements in it now after that i will implement push item method so def push underscore item and it is going to accept another parameter called value apart from self now push so we will take this self dot my stack self dot my stack dot append that value all right so this is uh, basically adding an element or value on on at the end so it is going to add the element append in the end so this list has some elements in it now if i want to add another number it is going to add another number here so after 9 it is going to add 10 over here now okay
all right so push item so that's a method for it now let us implement pop item so pop item it is not going to accept any parameter so it will be self by by default it is going to have the self if this is empty method self dot is empty method is true then we will simply should be okay and now if uh, this uh, condition turns out to be true then we will simply print stack is empty All right a else we will simply pop the item from that list so self self dot my stack dot pop okay we will return this so this is the pop item method now the next method is peak so peak is not going to accept any parameter apart from self and initially we will check if uh, this stack is empty or not okay and after this we will just return the element which is present at the top so self dot my stack minus 1 is negative indexing so it will return the element which is present here so uh, python also supports negative indexing so positive indexing always starts from 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 and negative indexing starts from minus 1 so minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 likewise it is going to continue all right so it is just this peak method will just return the element which is present at the top and after peak we are going to implement the length or size so we will call it size so it is not going to accept any other parameter uh, so it will just simply return the length of my stack self dot my stack self dot my stack and after this we will have one more method that is display so def display so not going to accept any the parameter it will just simply print the my stack self dot my stack all right so we are basically done with all the methods now let us initialize a variable to stack class so s equals stack now that we have this variable first uh, let us check whether the stack is empty or not so is underscore empty should return true because it is uh, empty all right so it has returned true now let us uh, add push some items so s dot push item so it is going to accept one parameter so push value okay so it should be okay it is going to accept some one parameter so I'm going to push one okay we have pushed one now let us push some other elements to it as well so now I'm going to push two let me push some more items now I'm going to push two three and five okay now if I ask for peak then it should return 5 so s dot peak it should return 5 because that's the element which is present out at the top so if I call s dot display you can see so you can see 5 is present at the top now if I want to pop it should remove the 5 so 5 now if I call display again 5 will be gone so here we can see 1 2 3 and uh, now let us check size method so s dot size 
it should return three for us because uh, this tag has only three elements in it so three all right so we have uh, dealt with all the methods so this is how you implement stack data structure using python using python and i hope you guys enjoyed this lecture and uh, i will see you in the next one if you guys like this, this type of content consider subscribing and i will see you in the next one if you want to enroll in the uh, python's uh, course in the udemy the link will be in the description as well as in the comments all right bye